In a Mr. Beastified YouTube, anything can be done for the sake of views. Breaking into an orphanage. I wanted to see the poorest people in the poorest country. So we went to the orphanage. Building a secret gaming room to hide from your mom. Today I'm building a secret gaming room under my stairs to hide from my mom. And even stalking famous YouTubers. Danny. Danny, I can see you. Danny. Danny, I found you. You gotta you gotta record a video with me now. I found you. You gotta make the video now. Fuck, oh, man. Come over here. How did you find me? I thought I was hiding so good. I was in your camera. Yeah. Oh. Can you see me? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what's up, man? Yeah. Wow, you are small in person. Well, I can't tell you how many people, uh, you know, try to come to my house to film with me or you know, try to deliver me strange objects so they can use my name in their title. So, I get it. My goal with the video was to teach Danny, my favorite human being in the whole world, uh, how to stay away from these uh, weird stalkers. And I did that by making a PowerPoint presentation. I made a, a, like a PowerPoint presentation for the video. Okay. It's really good. I'll be the judge of that. I've seen some pretty good PowerPoints. Not as good as this one. Oh, and Danny are best friends. Ooh, oh, okay, Danny I like. Recording. I like. Many Can you hear that song? Yeah, it has like really specific Talking lyrics. Um, did you write this just for this uh, video? I found this on Spotify. Really? Okay. Wow. Well, it, I guess it, it fits the occasion pretty well, I guess. Yeah, it goes on. It goes on for the entirety of the video. A gift for me or Pinely to my best friend, Daniel. Okay, yeah, okay, so this, this is awesome, like this? man. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that's so sweet of you to consider me your best friend after, you know, having to stalk me for months just to make a video with me. What do you think of this one? I love you, or you are my friend, or. That's so good. I remember when we took that picture together. You weren't so tiny uh, back you then. Were... You were normal size. I grew smaller because I aged. So, do you see this guy on Twitter? Yes, I did. He's filming some type of video, uh, a Ryan Trahan Penny series-esque video where he's trying to deliver something to Mr. Beast. But in this case, it is a cutout of Ryan Trahan. And now, <laughs> I like in the tweet that he says, the hunt is on for Mr. Beast. When someone you've never met before tweets you that they're in the town you live in and they're actively hunting you, that's some good content. Yeah, I like that uh, he's hunting him down to give him a fucking piece of paper. Yeah, well, what you can't see in this, the picture makes it a little unclear, but this is actually a Ryan Trahan shaped gun. Though he's sort of saying like, I got this for you. And it is a Ryan Trahan shaped bullet that comes out as well. Do you think it's so, because, you know, Mr. Beast and Ryan have a pass together, He's gonna be like, oh, Ryan Trayon, I know this guy. You know, get him off guard and then shoot him in the head. Oh, yeah, like he's gonna think it really is Ryan and he's gonna be like, oh, hey, what's up, dude? And then before he knows it, there's an even smaller Ryan flying through the air. Well, I thought that this was really a nice gesture, but apparently Mr. Beast, uh... <laughs> Mr. Beast was kind of... <laughs> Go away! I don't want your stupid cutout. I'm tired of people harassing me. It needs to be at such a breaking point to say <laughs> to say that. Honestly, though, <laughs> I get like that sounds awful for people to just like hordes of people are probably trying to infiltrate Mr. Beast's warehouse at all times to uh, use him for their thumbnail and title. So to get to a point where this is such a problem, how did we get here? Our story begins in a little place called America, and an even littler place called Los Angeles. Oh. With a littler guy called Arak. I like where this is going. With him stalking a slightly bigger guy. Logan Paul, do you follow all the details so far? Yep, I think I remember this. I think I know what's going on here. Era kind of started this trend, or I don't know if started, but essentially popularized it. His whole career kind of kicked off after he made, I think, three or four videos where he full on stalked and harassed Logan Paul. We all know that I have a history with Logan Paul. Like other celebrities, he has been the target of my trolling for the past few months. And recently he posted on his Instagram story that he's trying to get rid of his $90,000 Mercedes Benz couches. A bunch of people sent this to me, said I should buy these couches. The idea is to go all the way to Logan Paul's house. We're gonna coordinate a moving truck, then buy the couch. The only catch is that the moving truck is not to move the couches out. 
It's to move me in. So he's doing the old bait and switch where Logan thinks that he's going to buy the couch, but really he's going to live with Logan forever. Yes. Okay. And at this point... Logan Paul didn't really like him all that much because he's already stalked him, I think, twice before this or something like that. So this was really a bold move. Uh, will you guys be filming? Uh, can, well, can we film? Uh, if we can. So they argue with the, his assistant for a while. I think he's stuck in the truck for about two hours. <laughs> they, they finally open up the back of the truck and he's dead. <laughs> he died of like heat <laughs> exhaustion. see his corpse yeah. at the bottom of it. Um, can we still drop him off here? <laughs> what? <laughs> Uh, interviewed me at Jake's fight, and then came here, and then at Dan Bozerian's party you snuck in. I did. Bro, I'm gonna be- I feel like if you remove the, like, hype music, this is kind of terrifying. Yeah, this is like the end of a movie where, th like, Logan's realizing that Arak has been stalking him for so long, where he's like, so, wait, so you interviewed me, and then- Wait, you were at Dan Bilzerian's party too. Holy shit, you've been everywhere. But they're just like playing this hype music in the background. He's like, yep. And now I'm here to live with you, buddy. You're the most persistent person I've ever met in my life. Not a compliment in this context. And it was time to make the reveal that I would be sleeping at Logan Paul's house. <laughs> It's time to rev it's not time to ask. It's time to reveal that I will be sleeping here. Such a strong statement. It's like it's a, some, a gift or something. All right, so you have cash in hand. Well, yeah, I mean, these are my couches now. I'm just going to sleep on these now. I don't think that that's how buying a couch uh, works. Dude, I would not uh, props to Logan for being so like nice cuz I would actually be pretty creeped out by this. I think it is really unsettling. I think Logan kind of because, like, his whole thing has always been, like, being annoying for content, like, early on as well. He kind of has to, or, like, he felt like he kind of has to give it the time of day. Even though this is crazy. Also, I mean, Arak seems like a nice guy, too. I haven't, like, gotten, like, you know... He seems like a nice dude. And I don't think, he probably didn't know what, that he was starting a trend of, of uh, stalking that would occur after this. So it was fine until you said here. <laughs> it's technically my property now. <laughs> you're right. You're he, he really looks scared. Yeah. Yeah, Logan, <laughs> yeah. He's like, it's technically my property. And Logan's like, oh, f he's right. <laughs> no, he can sleep here forever now. I think this is why Logan moved to Puerto Rico. <laughs> Just to avoid Arak specifically. <laughs> is your video sponsored? Yes. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I remember when this video first came out, I saw maybe like YouTube guru type of channel was talking about Arak and mentioned this video called Arak's style of content and why he was able to blow up like social hacking or something. Cause it's like, if you can take things that are already popular and kind of like insert yourself into that narrative. That's how you can get to the top. And it was called social hacking. And now having watched this, social hacking kind of seems like it's just slang for stalking. So I think it's the fact that this was proven to work and also Eric is as famous as he is now. And I think that's probably the reason as to why Logan Paul kept getting stalked. Now we got the second generation of uh, stalking someone to give them a thing. And that's Matthew Beam. I mean, did I tell you about me meeting him at VidCon? No. Lucky? Did he surprise you with a custom car? He didn't surprise me with anything, sadly. I saw him at the at the YouTube uh, lounge, and I was like, that's Matthew Beam. Like, I talked about him in that Mr. Beast video. And he very clearly saw the video, and he also doesn't like me. Oh, no. Because <laughs> he just dead stared at me, and he was like, that was a really funny video, man. That was like a really funny video. And then we just stood there in silence for a few moments before I left. His next video is, I surprised Pinely with a custom knife. He kind of pioneered it. And to his credit, most, the vast majority of these videos are done with the consent of the people that he gifts. Besides the first one that he made, which is the one that he made for Logan Paul. In this video, I will be customizing Logan Paul's very first car. It announced a massive giveaway where one lucky fan was going to win his most prized possession. My Dodge Challenger. My Logan Paul keeps trying to get rid of all this shit and people are just buying it and giving it back to him all the <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, I'll buy it. <laughs> but with a twist, you have to be in my video about you. And it's like, no, I just buy it. I don't. Oh, I don't want to be in any more videos, please. Friday, September 4th, 2020. Today's the day! 
Logan's announcing who wins the car today. And after waiting 20 minutes, Logan just posted on a story the winners in Colorado. <laughs> now that the winner of the car has been announced, the goal is to track that person down and kill them. How are you even going to find him? Uh. Luckily, finding the winner was really easy since Logan Paul tagged him on Instagram. There's so much. It's so fast. Yeah, <laughs> this is awesome. It's almost so, like some sort of Mr. Beastification of YouTube. Matthew Beam always talks in interviews about how like he has this sort of like America dream started from the bottom type story uh, where it like kind of took a big risk and took a massive loan for, I mean, this video and another one. But he already has, I think he had a collection of shoes where like each one of them was worth like 10 grand or some shit like that. So I don't know how much I believe that. Hey, that's still the American dream, man. The American dream is you start off rich and then you end very rich. So we just agreed on a price. I am so happy right now. Only one problem. I don't have enough money to buy the car, so we need a loan. This is about to be the biggest purchase I've ever made, and I'm just going to give it away back to Logan Paul. It's so much money, and I still don't even know if I'm going to be able to contact him. It would be a real shame if he doesn't manage to contact Logan by the end of this video. <laughs> yeah, by the end of the video, he's just like, Guys, I don't know how to get in contact with Logan Paul. I spent so much money on this car, now I just have a stupid customized Dodge Challenger or whatever. We just arrived at the bank. Right there is where I'll be applying for my first ever massive bank loan. I'm risking my entire future for this one single video. It's not a good thing. <laughs> There's something so strange about him, like, he's, like, actually filming himself, like, putting himself into a immense debt and, like, very much risking his financial future, but he's still, like, keeping up the YouTuber persona of being like, I am so scared right now, guys. We're about to go in there and potentially irreparably damage my financial security. And after weeks of stress, the car is finally mine. Just filling up Logan Paul's car with gas. You know, normal. Bro. That's weird. The car is in awful shape. I don't know about this. It's going to cost so much money to fix it. Yeah, that's probably why he wanted to get rid of it. At this point, this whole project becomes... I mean, he keeps up the Mr. Beast kind of cheer, but... This project must be, you know, like tearing his life apart. Yeah. Because he invested all the money into buying the car and then fixing it. He's going to need to customize it at some point as well. Yeah, I know. This dude must be really reaching the end of his, his financial rope in his <laughs> gigantic car customizing warehouse. So I just woke up and Logan Paul messaged me in the middle of the night. He said, are you serious? I guess he saw the picture of the car. This is insane. I'm going to message him. Hopefully he'll accept the car. <laughs> is that an excited are you serious or like an are you <laughs> kidding me kind of expression? <laughs> this fucking thing again. Yeah. <laughs> this is the worst plan I've ever had. We're just going to sit out outside of his house like stalkers. Hopefully he doesn't get mad. You're home, baby. That's just so unsettling. Dude, I'm gonna be thinking about this every time I like sell a car or <laughs> anything. I'm gonna be like, what are the odds that there's some like up and coming YouTuber who like dug whatever I just threw away out of the trash or like just he he bought the the table I was selling on Facebook Marketplace right now and is like tinkering away in his workshop on it. This is a story about a man who's put everything into this car. His last resort is literally stalking a man and waiting outside of his house to get his attention because he knows that if he were to get that, that would change his life. I want to see it, it, the video cut from this shot to like a news broadcast of like tragedy at Logan at youtuber Logan Paul's house as deranged fan drives his own dodge through the windows of his house Matthew beam arrested for vehicular manslaughter inside Logan Paul's house he's like this is the only way for him to see it <laughs> So we've been waiting outside of Logan Paul's house for about 10 minutes and he did leave his old garage door opener in here. Should I try it? What? We've been waiting at least an hour outside of his house like stalkers. I do not like this at all. Please no one do this ever, but it's our- What differentiates between him and a maniac doing it? It's the same uh, thing. I hope I spent so much money. We've had 10 months. That was the, that was the realest moment of this video. I was for about an hour. I realized this wasn't right and left. And I feel really bad that I just showed up uninvited like that. But I just spent so much money and didn't want- I don't think you did. I think you just didn't come out and you feel embarrassed about it. So you're like, I left because I'm a good person. Well, it's the sort of thing that the more you do it, I bet, the more you're like, what is wrong with me? Yeah. <laughs> like, what brought me to this point? Now, I think he edited out, like, hours of him, like, shaking the bars in front of Logan's house, like, come out! This hotel is sold out, so now we gotta go somewhere else and wait more. 
So Logan just posted on his Instagram story that he is on the way to Puerto Rico. <laughs> So this is the end of the video. He just doesn't. He never gets to see the car. <laughs> he did, he's just stuck with the car now. <laughs> Logan Paul has fled the country to escape Matthew Beam. It's almost been a year and a half since I bought Logan Paul's car. And over the last six months, I've continued to try to give Logan the car. But I've realized it's basically impossible to do. And I've also realized how much this car means to me. Damn. So he's like super attached to the car now. He's like, I wouldn't even give it to Logan if you wanted it at this point. It's my car now. Yeah. <laughs> and someday he's going to throw the car away and then some deranged fan is going to do the same thing to him. If Logan Paul's career ever falls off, he tries to give the car yes. back to Matthew Beam. So that kind of led to... Oh, I remember this. The guy asking for the job from Logan. I quit my job legit two days ago. I came up here, took a risk. I'm originally from Ohio. Did you originally? sneak up here? No, I didn't sneak in here. I, I didn't sneak. What do you mean sneak up like here? Like on, on stage? Or you just like... Yes, I did. You <laughs> no, I didn't. Wait, what do you mean? Oh, here? Yeah, I did. It took him about a second to, of being called out to actually admit to it. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is like a like a really big video. I mean, the story is, yeah, that he just went backstage to Logan's show. And then Logan Paul was like, do you, act, do you have anything... That you can offer me any skill, anything. I'm sorry, I just did you print the ticket and stuff? No, like, I just needed to talk to you. I really, I'm trying to talk, talk to your about? brother. I'm trying to talk about business. Trying to talk about trying to get a job. The Matthew Beam version of this video would be finding an em employee that Logan Paul fired, giving them a makeover, and then bringing them back to Logan Paul. They'd be like, "Look, he's hot now." I was having dances. I did like Where's that. I did. I, I did that video. You know. What are you good at? I could do TikTok dances for you, Logan. Why would I? Why would I need that? <laughs> so all of this essentially culminated in this guy who wanted to give, just wanted to give Mr. Beast a little piece of cardboard. I just got rejected by Mr. Beast, and I'm honestly so happy. Um, yeah, I don't want to brag, but I just got a restraining order from Mr. Beast. So he's got kind of the same energy as Matthew Beam at the end of the video, where he's like, actually, I didn't even want to give him the cardboard cutout. I really like the cardboard cutout. I'm going to keep it for myself, <laughs> actually. We are filming a video. If you look at any of my past tweets, any of my past videos, you will see that this was what I was talking about, is the fact that YouTube encourages a harassment culture. This was all planned out in advance. He planned that he will post the picture of him and Ryan Trian with the cardboard cutout and that Mr. Beast will get angry because he's actually against people stalking Mr. Beast. So he was going to prove it by doing it, but then Mr. Beast didn't let him do it, so he's so happy. Yeah. It kind of sounds like his video is about the same thing that this video is about. It's about like, hey, stop harassing YouTubers. So why didn't we do this? For this I don't video. know. We're not as smart as this guy. I guess he has not. way better ideas than us. How much do you want to bet that if Mr. Beast did accept the cardboard cutout, he would have deleted all those previous tweets and just posted a video <laughs> being like, delivering cardboard cutout to Mr. Beast. Will I be trying to harass and stalk Jimmy today? No. I'm going to respectfully uh, not approach him in any shape or form. So I think he recorded a video, like a fuller video about this, where he says about the same thing. But he says that he drove, I think it was four hours to North Carolina to record this video. Uh, maybe I'm missing something here. I I don't get how he would have proved a point about not stalking someone by driving four hours to their home. Yeah, maybe it was gonna be some kind of experiment where he, he actually does, if it worked out, he was gonna post a video like it was real the whole time. Like, you know, I delivered Mr. Beast a cardboard cutout and then follow that up with a video to be like, See how well that video did? That's because YouTube promotes stalking, harassing, yada, yada, yada. Now we've arrived to this guy, Phidias, who's made this video. Uh, I spent 100 hours in the world's poorest country. I added a little sound effect to click on for this. <laughs> Banger video, by the way. I just want to show you a few, a, few, a few little YouTube shorts where he tries to track down Elon Musk and give him a hug. I have a tent outside SpaceX and I'm going to be searching for Elon Musk until he accepts to give me a hug. This is day one. H how many days did you think that he did this for? Two. There are 
Yeah, I think he did this for 70 days. Really? Do you think he actually did, or did he just film all of those in one day or something? Oh no, don't, there, there was a lot going on. 5 a.m. in the morning, and it started raining. Day 7, staying outside SpaceX until Elon Musk hacked me. If you took if you took Matthew Beam and just turned his dial one more notch unhinged, this would be him outside of Logan Paul's house. It's interesting because it's like it's more unhinged, but because he doesn't his editing isn't quite on the level of Matthew Beam, it feels so much more real, like the fact that this is actually happening. Yeah. Whereas with like Matthew, I mean, he, he's spending like 50 grand. You, you don't really get that impact in the video as much as like this guy living in a tent for two over two months so on day 27 this happened musk finally noticed me after 27 days of living outside spacex <laughs> yesterday i asked my followers on instagram to go spam his mother <laughs> what the fuck dude this is making me this is like i know that like i will never be anywhere near as famous as mr beast or elon musk but this is making me want to not be on the internet at all ever again if there's even a slight chance that someone is like tries to get in contact with me like that that's enough to send me away forever You're, you'd have to move to puerto rico to deal with that what is good about twitter is you can complain about spamming on instagram Fidias ask his ig followers to spam me i have removed over 500 comments elon musk please do not hack this malicious man i never wanted to cause you trouble mrs musk i'm sorry how did you think that getting your followers to spam his mom would go right yeah what the hell and on day 33 gave up on being outside I of spacex to leave spacex this was a very difficult decision for me to leave from here i want to move and stay outside twitter headquarters <laughs> <laughs> that must have been a really hard decision for you man i'm i'm really sorry to hear about that so you're telling me that on day 27, Elon Musk's mom was like, Elon will never hug you. And Elon replied to that, basically being like, that is correct. I will never hug you because you harassed my mother. And you're telling me that after this, he still spent like 45 days trying to get Elon to hug him. I think all these videos are the definition of sunk cost fallacy because like everything that you do depends on this one moment where this person notices you that like you've gone for 27 days you got you just have to keep going elon musk was coming from this direction and i was going to this direction and he saw me and we locked eyes he started moving very fast to the other direction <laughs> so he's aware of him being a menace <laughs> and try to like sprint out. I'm disappointed because my favorite person in the world and he avoids me. Not the coolest feeling. This is actually deranged. This is so fucking weird. This guy is actually just stalking Elon Musk and pretending it's for a YouTube video. You're living out, you're living on the streets for two months just to hug a guy. If you remove the context of like, I'm doing this for a challenge, you don't really get something that's more stalkery than that. This girl is outside the Twitter building and she wants to meet Elon Musk, right? Yes. Why? Because if they keep trying to colonize Mars with robots, the Martians are gonna attack us. So you want to save the world? Yeah. Do you think this gives them perspective? Yeah. <laughs> that's weird. The only other person out here stalking Elon Musk is crazy. <laughs> Huh. I'm going to give letters to Twitter employees in order for them to pass them to Elon Musk. I'm going to wait here. Get the fuck out. How does he not... How does he not understand at this point? Guard of Elon Musk came and he said to me, Come, we're going to do the hug now. And on the way that we were going upstairs, he said, You are going to have only your phone and you're going to only take a picture. And I said to him, No, I want to take a 10 second video. And then he came down and told me, He's not going to hug you tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like a Joker yeah. kind of story. Yeah, so this is... Do you think this actually happened? He's been doing this for 65 days. I think he's having a real mental breakdown. I think that was a mistake because he's so busy with all this stuff and he accepted for me to go and take a photo with you. And I wanted more. <laughs> that is kind of funny that Elon Musk finally agreed after this guy's been living on the streets for 70 days or whatever. Mm -hmm. And he's like, actually, no. Let's play with him a little bit more. I like it, I respect that. So you were wondering how many views this got. The answer is 10 million. Oh my God. 
<laughs> Holy shit, okay. After three months of struggling, I finally received the golden text. They said, come now to get the hug. I love your communication because you are not very easy to articulate things. But you say things very simple, but you are this uh, kind of weird guy, which is so cool. He calls him weird? <laughs> Elon, I've waited here for three months, and I just wanted to tell you. You're a bit weird. What the hell's wrong with you, man? <laughs> oh my god, thank you guys for watching. I love you. Goodbye. Persistence is very important. You should not give up unless you are forced to give up. Bye, Danny. Yeah, I'm, I'm moving to Puerto Rico, man. So, like, who is the next you person to har harass Ooh, for YouTubers. Okay. So we've had Logan Paul, we've had Mr. Beast, we've had Elon Musk. I think the next person for me to stalk oh, is. It's you, Danny. Try to open your door, Danny. Try to open your door. You can try. It's not gonna open. Okay. Uh, do you wanna record a video?